Guess I should go live there, eh? Is this working? It is working. Good. <sighs> I'm running a little bit late today because I fired a real locomotive yesterday and I have to say it, um, well, it was a little tiring. So when my alarm went off this morning, I didn't. That's okay. We're going to jump into the 155 electric box or electric container or electric shed depending on where you come from you love the fade in do you i didn't think there was one i thought i just jumped scenes anyway uh we're going to run the scenario what's it called chop and change in the br155 i don't remember ever actually having driven a br155 before so this could be interesting but there it is shiny blue it's a freight locomotive. Seems to be some more freight behind it. Oh, it's a hand-holding scenario. Set the driver's brake to running. Does it work with rail driver? Yes, it does. What about the brake key? Oh, it's already on. Hey, look. Like all German trains. It's got a button that puts you in Australia. And apply power to get moving. What? I don't have to do anything. What about the reverser? Can't even change the reverser. Well, that's one of those horrible ones, but everything's locked. All right. Let's apply some power to get moving then. I thought we were shunting first. That's what the scenario said. Actually, I shouldn't get moving yet. Hang on. Hang on. Stop. Stop. All right. Now you're not moving. Now. Mm, PCB, PCB, cap brightness. You surely want things like headlights, cooling fans, compressor, train heating. Oh, I need train heating, don't we? Pulling freight trains. Have to warm it up. I assume all those things are working. Gauge lights. That's all we want. Headlight left, right, right. Okay, they're on. Now, how do I turn on PZB in this thing? It's probably down there somewhere. Yep, you can go in there. What's that one? Corridor lights. Are we moving? We're moving. Stop that. All right. Uh, ah, here's a likely looking panel. FIFA. Mm. Easy B mode M, that's fine. How do I turn it on though? Ooh, it's probably that one, right? The one labeled PZB? That would make sense, wouldn't it? Okay, back we go. Shut the door like good little humans. Yeah, now it's snowing and raining. The window opens outwards. You what now? How did that great big window open to that little thing? Oh, that's just weird. Oh, actually, no, I see. The, I think the animations not great because look you can see the pane of glass there but it did actually pop this little windshield thing out okay i get it i get it direct brake off let's try that again oh it does make noise pzb box there it is so welcome to the stream the blue does look nice as we set off i might need more power I don't know how much I can give this before it does nasty things. We'll see. It seems to be doing something though. Those meters are saying it's doing things. Dave Randall says hasn't done this scenario yet. Well, there you go. You get a bit of a spoiler. What about windscreen wipers? Where are they? Screen wipers. They're often down here somewhere lately. I don't think we want that one. got to be a switch for them somewhere. Surely. Any guesses? So I'm guessing these um, braking force selector and traction force selector. Okay, that explains why we're not getting wheel slip at the moment. And do we have to acknowledge this signal? I don't know. Probably not.
NJT says modern screens for such an old locomotive. Yeah, they've been refitted with all of the helper stuff. Reaching brake pressure monitor. Who knows what that is? It has to be a windscreen wiper thing somewhere, surely. Somewhere, somewhere, somewhere. Any guesses? That's nice that you're going to meet up with your homo's nits. Ah. No, that's not useful. And this side hasn't got one of those. Okay, where are the windscreen wipers? Hmm. Let's put uh, cab lights on. Oh, I got a reward. Isn't that nice? Control lights. Ooh. Green. Do you reckon it's radioactive? Well, we found everything else. It's a good thing I haven't had to acknowledge the signal yet. Dave thinks it's on the right. What else is happening in the chat? Hidden near the brake controls is a small silver knob. They'll risk getting up and going over there and having a look. Be going for signals. No, no signals I need to acknowledge yet. Hmm. Hidden is the right word. All right, do it the hard way. Keyboard. I prefer to use the cab, but keyboard. <sighs> Off we go then. Let's tap up a bit more. Surely we're allowed to by now. Yes, we can do... Well, we'll actually be limited to 100, wouldn't we? seem to be making any effort so we're just rolling what haven't I turned on see I can't actually move the reverser it won't let me it doesn't respond to rail driver it doesn't respond to keyboard the sand button does helpful so there's something I haven't turned on We did have a pantograph up, didn't we? Yeah, we got a pantograph up. Why is the reverser locked? And it's in zero, too. Look at that. I'm sure that's in zero. I can get the handle out. Can I move it now? There we go. It thought the handle was out. But really, it wasn't. All right, there's a bug. I think messages like that, Mr. Nitz, won't actually get through to the stream. Off we go to Hood. Or Hooday. Or something like that. Sifa. This random German buzz brought to you by Sifa. the new wagons. They look like maybe steel coils or something like that. Good, see for sounds outside the cab. That's helpful. So how are people today? Guess what, Nitz? Watch this. I can stop you. 
I just did. <laughs> see you later, Mr. Nitz. Most of you didn't see what he was posting. It was getting eaten by the, uh, the filter. So we'll see if he comes back in five minutes or not. It's been sending me the most ridiculous shit on Discord too. So, well done for earning yourself a timeout, young man. So, am I not making effort again? Or is the gauge just not moving? It's not making effort again, is it? I wonder if I actually missed a C4 or something like that. Maybe I was too slow. And it didn't break me. There we go, that must have been what it was. I must have just missed a Cipher. Bit of rock and roll going on there. He may well come back like that. We shall see. But you have to be nice on the stream. If you're not nice on the stream, I'm not nice either. That's okay. Just keep mashing the seat of button. It's like a one one zero. At least since the update that's got people in it. I was very happy to see the people. Only 13 kilometres to Hude. They must be shunting at Hude. Or Hood. Hud? I don't know. German speaking mate's not with us today, it seems. So he cannot help me with my terrible pronunciation. Not to mention laugh at me about my terrible pronunciation. And yes, I know Germans don't blow horns at crossings, but you, know, you have to do something. Now this tap wheel does work with rail driver, but the experience is um, not amazing. So I think doing it with your controller or your mouse is probably better. Or your keyboard, if you're that way inclined. Does it work with keyboard? Let's see. Yeah, it works with keyboard. This is good. Headlights that work. Cool. Actually, I think I know when the when it um, stopped making power. It's probably when I stood up looking for the brake control. It's not a brand sized train for a German train. They're not known for their largeness. I'm going to keep about the 95 mark. PZB won't bite me doing 100, but... Oh, he's listening. Unless he's gotten angry and hung up. That is quite possible. Do you hang up on a stream? Or do you just leave? I don't know. That's an interesting question. So when you go into timeout, you can still watch the stream. You just can't say anything. Another green. It's clearly a lovely morning. See pop. Now I think I'm looking through the people in the stream. None of you were in the other one. So 
I might reuse the trivia questions. Hello, Lexic Dark. How are you? Yeah, I find that's generally true that um, people are fairly accepting if you're trying. As long as you're not pretending you know what you're doing. Vacuum cleaner coming down here. Excuse me a moment. Okay. Won't have to listen to that now. It's not meant to run in the mornings. Ah, sorry. But yesterday's firing run was a lot of fun. Very, very tiring. My arms hurt. Now, I suppose you're right, NJT. It would be leave, not hang up, because you're not in a call or anything, are you? So I think we should probably, uh, I'll just be talking at a road then. I think we should start our quiz. What do you reckon? Feels like a train hit you. Was that that bumpy thing I felt coming through Emerald yesterday? Maybe I ran over you. That'd be unfortunate. So here's one that Lexic Dark could probably answer really easily. And the rest of you might have to Google it, or you might know. So I don't think any of you were in my stream the other day, so I'm actually going to use the same questions. We didn't finish them last time. Let's we'll see if we can finish them. So... I'll start with what was question 13, because there's 20 of them, and then I'll go back to the beginning, because that's where I got up to last time. So, trivia questions on Bremen Oldenburg. When did the line first open? Slightly a tricky one. Slightly. And I'm right with you on the coffee front, mate. Right? I kind of realised how I was going to feel the next day when I inhaled my dinner. It was gone in about three seconds. No problems, Michael. See you shortly. Well done, Dave Randall. And here's me thinking that might be a little bit tricky, but clearly not. The reason it was tricky is because this line wasn't this line when it opened. It was a different one. So a little bit hard to Google, but uh, perhaps it's front and centre in Wikipedia or something. Why do you find 1867 to be an interesting number, NJT? There were other world events in that year. That bridge is very shiny. Probably better think about starting to power off, I guess, since we're uh, only a few k's out. Google is your friend. Excellent, Dave Brandon. I do from time to time try and find ungoogleable questions. But that doesn't always work out because I just think they're ungoogleable because I couldn't. No, it doesn't go negative. JT thinks it's interesting because of the way people say it. Not quite sure I understand that, but that's okay. I don't have to.
I don't understand why I'm not having to acknowledge those signals. I really would have short thought that I would have. I don't know why I'm using my mouse for the brakes when I have a perfectly good rail driver right next to me. Ooh, that's bumpy. Do I have to acknowledge this one? There's a question. Which makes me think there's another PZB switch, because it's clearly not actually on. Oh well. I'll just pretend PZB is working, and I'll behave as though it is. That's fair, isn't it? Only going a little bit slow now. got good brakes, I'll give it that. That's a good thing I slowed down there, we're changing tracks. Look at that. And that's interesting, if I angle down there, my headlights light up the rain. And if I angle up there, they don't. Isn't the Unreal Engine wonderful? The answer to that is no. But that's life. I finally sorted out my microphone problem so I don't have to unplug it and replug it every now and again. It turned out it was the NVIDIA noise cancellation driver. Or the NVIDIA app was uh, trying to take it over, even though I wasn't using it. And that was confusing things, so I have removed it. I still use the thing that uh, takes away my background. That's working. Welcome to Hood, people. The lights on that are awfully bright, aren't they? Entrance. Nothing for brightness, though. Alright. That's fine. We must have other tasks to do. Oh, we do. Look at that. We're going somewhere else after this. Nice. I'll figure out what's wrong with PZB before I do that. Well, we're going to be streaming in the dark, aren't we? I should have played this before I tried it. We're quietly... Roll on through the rain. So I turn those ones off. Nah, I'm going to leave the cab lights on because it gives you guys something to look at. It's a bit annoying for me, but I want you guys to see what's going on. And we'll pop back and have a look for more PZB switches back there because I'm guessing there must be another one. Or PZB just doesn't work on this logo, that's possible. I haven't heard it doesn't. And yes, I know I'm a beta tester, but I didn't actually beta Bremen Old Poke. Having way too much fun in Cross City. <laughs> I didn't touch this one, I completely forgot it existed. That's not going to be enough, is it? Of course not. World Cup shenanigans, NJTE. I heard that uh, Argentina's gotten through, so representing Southern Hemisphere, yay Argentina. Because, as usual, Australia couldn't do it. We did better this year, I guess. All right, before we uncouple, let's just go and look at our switches. Oops, we do actually need the corridor lights on now. It's a good thing it's got this, isn't it? 
Let's just wander up here and have a look. Are there any more switches that are turned off? Is that what the PZB one we turned on? So the switches are the opposite way for PZB and LZB. Isn't that interesting? There's nothing else to turn on, really. PZB mode should be fine. M should be fine for goods. Hmm. I don't know. Maybe it just doesn't work. Or maybe it's one of those ones where there's another switch in the cab somewhere. I just haven't found it. Just save energy, turn the light off. Be a good little greenie. It actually looks kind of nice. I better get out of the chair and do this actually because uh, full service to you. Oh, one more. Just pop you into neutral. You won't let me, but you're going to anyway. Do you know the reverser doesn't work with rail driver? Isn't that interesting? Hmm. I don't like that. Not at all. Back with the lights. And there's a door here somewhere. There it is. Ooh, I hit myself in the face with a door. Climb down steps. How primitive. My little light doesn't work very well when I'm walking out here. Oh, you're back, Nits. You gonna be nice this time? It's 300 seconds. The timeout. Might have felt like 20 minutes. 48 meters, 44. It's probably where the carriages change. It's probably this one here. Yep, it's this one here. Where's the coupler? I really have to go under there. You what now? Now that takes me out the other side. That's not what I want. I can climb over the top. That's kind of cool. I like little things like that. I'm easily amused. If you get a chance to play at the front of a real train, I recommend you give it a crack. I'm in danger, according to the reticule. Should get off the track then. You ever notice that when you walk down the track, it goes red? Up we get to a nice shiny prez. Discovered PZB doesn't work. Or there's another switch. Let's just turn off my little light. Stop. As indicated, 1.2 kilometers. Very good. And now it works with rail driver. And PZB works now. Look, 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 look. Lights on. What is going on? Yeah, there always is a random car horn. It's just part of the fun. I haven't powered up very much because I know it'll take a little while to pump the brakes up since I did a full release. Do we even have brake gauges in here? Not anything reducing. 
We are moving, I think. We are. Hopefully I left the right amount of the train behind. PZB is now definitely working. And I'm in monitoring. Or was. I have released it. Yes, Lexic Dark, I guess it... Uh, it is just like a computer. Sometimes you just have to turn it off and back on again. It might have got confused when I was getting up looking for the wipers as well. Because... Uh, it doesn't say it's a dead man's pedal, but that could be. We'll know in a moment, because I have to acknowledge this. I would have thought I had to acknowledge that signal. There you go. Why does it always rain when you have to shunt? Actually, I shouldn't say always. It didn't yesterday. It was actually kind of interesting. Yesterday, my supervising driver and supervising fireman, training fireman, if you like, was... Uh, they said it was quite a good run. And then they saw the clinker I was pulling out of the firebox at the end of the day and they went, actually it was a great run. You got that much steam with that much crap in the firebox. I was happy. It's starting to almost feel like I know what I'm doing. Starting to learn what works and what doesn't. So, on with the trivia again. Who built the original railway? Eva. I do like the ones that talk to you. I don't like the ones that yell at you. The ICE 3 when it just yells at you non stop. It was a nice sunny day. That did mean it was about 58 degrees in the cab though. Today would be worse because it would be hot in the cab and very muggy. So, kind of glad I'm not rusted on today. My next one's the day after Boxing Day. And I'll be taking a... Uh, taking a train up the really big hill. So the steepest hill is a little bit less than two miles long for those in the old money. And the uh, not so steepest hill, so the steepest one is one in 30 and the not so steepest one is one in 27. So it's only a little bit less steep, but it's six miles long. It's going to challenge my physical fitness to actually be able to shovel that much coal for that long. And of course the converse challenge of that when you're coming down the hill is having enough fire to make enough steam to run the air pump for the brakes while not having so much fire to have so much steam that you blow off constantly. So much to think about running steam. Stuff that you don't even think about in a diesel, you just don't care. This thing's brakes are just too damn good. You're rail fanning tomorrow, are you, Nitz? There was a young fella rail fanning yesterday who um, came and videoed me for a little while. He has a channel. Set the reverser to reverse. Hello, signaler. Apparently I can go. Ooh, and I've got a 
flashing thousand, which means go slow. Couple to sixteen vehicles. Yeah, it is kinda. Lexic Dark said it's kinda like boiler traction control, avoiding boiler slip. Where's the back of our train? It's just really easy to see things, isn't it? Hmm. I'll just go sit in the cab and just pretend I know what's going on. It'll be fine. No problemo. Just keep it going slow so when we do run into it, it doesn't go bang too hard. I do slightly worry about that red signal, but, you know, it did say okay. Woohoo! Not game over. Brake sounds are unique to the locomotives. Mr. Nitz. They still have Operation Lifesaver. People still so dumb that they drive into the side of trains. And Dave Randall was the only one that gave an answer. That's half the answer, Dave, so I'll give you 10 points for that one. See if you can find the other half. So it definitely was built by the Prussian State, part of it. Prussian State Railways, anyway, but I'll give it to you. I should have paid a little bit of attention to how long this train was. So I think we went back about 300 metres. I guess Operation Lifesaver will still be a thing as long as people are that stupid. You have to answer to find the questions, Nitz. Or you have to... Sorry, you have to listen to find the questions. Well done, Dave Randall. Ten more for you. I think we're probably getting pretty close to this train now because I think we're about 300 metres long. Which means we are about 600 metres or so from hitting it. Just going to start using my locomotive brake to just introduce a little bit of drag just to gradually start slowing us down. Lexic Dark says, until there's full grade separation, do not underestimate stupid. I think they'll still find a way. There was a guy rescued from the top of the Skyway at Frankston. Who had somehow managed to drive his car up there. There you go, NJT. Bit of interesting fact. Luxembourg is the only Grand Duchy in the world right now. I think we're about 300 metres away from hitting this train. So this is an appropriate speed. Whatever it is we're doing. It's about 4 or 5 probably. We're, no, we're starting to slow down again. A bit too much. Must be going uphill. Let's give it a little bit of power. There's no point going out there to watch because you can't see a damn thing. Oh, no, you can. Okay. We're in a lit up yard. That was worth coming back here. Just hope I can hear Sifa this far away. He drove onto a pedestrian crossing and drove along the tracks. Until it went up. It's pretty simple. Do dumb shit when you're drunk.
Yeah, Skyway is an interesting part of our railways, unless you're a freight driver. I don't know who runs it for Cube, but when it was the other company, I knew one of the drivers. And he didn't like the Skyways because the steel train that he'd take out to Crib Point was so long that as he was starting to go up one, one Skyway and starting to have to apply power, the rear of his train was still climbing up to the one behind him and some of his train was coming down the one behind him. So it made train handling really difficult. Hello, David Park. Yes, a very kind of special Alexic Dark. We have many special people in our communities. It's still powering. I think ah, six 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 meters, lovely. The evil train. Here's another slightly tricky question for you. And the reason it's tricky is because you have to go to a particular place to find out or you'll get ripped off. How much does it cost to have a ticket from Bremen to Oldenburg on the normal railways and not the ICE? It depends where they're going, NJTE. We do actually have two gauges. We've got 5 foot 3 and 4 foot 8. If they're going to Perth or Sydney, they're normally on the 4 foot 8, so they actually don't share it with suburban trains. And if they're um, going somewhere in Victoria, they could well be a broad gauge freight train. Apologies for this being a bit slow, but it's dark. Is that a train in the distance there? I kind of think it is. Is it on this track though? It would make sense if it was on this track. Is it be about the right distance? It's about 100 and something metres to close this. Speed at restricted speed. I'm sure it should have told me that ages ago. Ten point seven zero euros. You found a cheap fare. It's not actually what I was looking for. Look on Deutsche Bahn's website. Maybe they've become cheaper since I looked. That would be interesting. Nearly there. No, you found one of the ripoff websites, NJTE. It's actually really interesting. When, when I was looking to find the price, um, the websites that came up in search, that's bizarre lighting. It has, its, it has tail lights shining like headlights. Hmm. I've never seen it do that before. There you go. When I was looking for it, what I discovered was there's the official website, which is DB's website. But DB's website's maybe 10th or 11th down the list when you Google it. And the other sites are all sites that charge you more money. And they, they range from um, a couple of euros more to 20 euros more. So they clearly just have a massive profit margin. I have a faint suspicion we're going uphill because we're just getting slower and slower and slower. But we're nearly there. We're about to couple. Any second now. Can you handle the suspense? 
I'm not sure if I can handle the suspense. I'm trying. Ask anyone who knows me, I'm very trying. Seventeen ninety is for the ICE. Here, yeah, the normal regional train. It's guessing NJTE. <laughs> You realise the next question is how much is the ICE day, Randall? You've just answered it, so you, you get 10 points for the next question. Went to the website. I have to wonder... Tell you what, I'm, I'm going to give the points to both of you. Because what I suspect is that depending on where you are in the world, it's probably showing different prices. Prepare for clunkage. Three, two, one, bang. All right, coupled, now what? Actually, we didn't have not coupled, have we? No, we have to go in here and do this. He's Germany. We don't do things the automatic way here. We do everything the manual way. I think it's a red signal. Maybe I should. No, it's alright. Let's change green. It's all good. Off we go into the rain again. I still think it's funny that when you when you look down there, the rain's lit up by your headlights. And when you look up there, the rain's not lit up by your headlights so much. It's just strange. We get lots of strange lighting things. Safe to release. Very well. We shall release. Oh, you chose second class. Ah. I don't travel second class. I only travel second class on planes because I can't afford to travel anything else. But on trains I always buy good tickets. Because they're cheap. Ziva. So is anybody, anybody going to buy the Christmas Elf route? I'm actually scheduled to stream on Christmas Day, but I don't think I'll get away with it, so I'll probably pop up a premiere. Because our family descends on our house on that day. And there will be about 20-odd people coming. It's the wrong way. Well, I tried the gratuitous bridge shot, but I missed. But this will do. Nice arc from the pantograph. You can see why they changed the lighting, because there are some scenes where it's just so much better, like nighttime. It's not quite right during the height of day yet, though. Still a little bit too bright. Dave has to look after his nieces Christmas week and keep them entertained. Oh, no doubt. Mine will be here around that time too. building over there. 
old goods shed. Maybe it's an old engine shed or something. It's certainly old. The train's definitely heavier now. Cruise along. So when you think from an exports perspective and from a local consumption perspective, so it's both of them, what do Bremen and Melbourne have in common? Melbourne being my home Melbourne, not, not the fake Melbourne in Florida. It's like everything's fake in Florida. Melbourne, Disney World, Donald Trump's tan, Donald Trump's hair, they're all fake. Is this one open? That's the question. Some of them do, some of them don't. Tipping this is one of the some of them don't. Yep, this is one of the some of them don't, I think. Off we go, back to the train. And she'll curb our disappointment. almost made it to the exhilarating speed of 80 kilometers an hour. Not sure if I understand what you mean by is this the fantasy island question. There are two products which are kind of made in both cities. They are consumed in both cities. And they are exported from both cities in large quantity for both. Let's see, which is one of the ones that opens? Why does that look like it's stopping? It's probably because it is stopping. Do you think I missed a Cifa? Yes, I did. <sighs> oh, well. Release the Bracken. You're going to power? No, you're not going to power. Oh, I can hear brakes coming off. Ooh, look, there are brake gauges. Happy power? Not yet. Now? Mm, no. Have I broken it? Brakes are definitely off now. I still can't power. And it's going up while I'm trying to take it down. Oh, I wonder if it's reading the rail driver. It is reading the rail driver. Look at that. Of 
craft foods. Well, I don't know about craft foods. I don't know about beer. I mean, we 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 do make beer here, but I don't think we actually export a great deal of beer. Because the be Australian beer that you drink overseas, I hate to break it to you, is not actually brewed in Australia. I once had an American proudly give me a can of Foster's. And she had a bottle of Heineken. And I took her Heineken and made her drink the Foster's. She understood. After that. <sighs> Buggered it. Stop reading a rail driver, you clown of a train. No. Door is open. Let's go and turn Cifer off. Which one was it? Oh, I didn't do something silly. I blow the breakers, did I? Ah, I actually think that's what it was. Surely it wouldn't take the pantograph down. Not that I can tell. It's dark. But it's making noises now. It wasn't making noises before. And that went back up to 15. Come on. I want to finish this. That leave me hanging. Any thoughts? Yeah, I'd say Nitz, that it's probably relatively accurate that most beer is from Europe in, in America because, you know, the local breweries don't make beer in America, they make cordial. It's not true beer. It's made with chemicals, not brewed. I'm a bit of a loss now. I think I'm going to turn this train off and turn it back on again. What do you reckon? Should probably put a little bit of brake on while I'm doing this. So you don't roll away. Probably help if I put the pantograph up first, wouldn't it? Pantograph up. Not that we can tell, but it should be. Do I have line voltage? No, I do not have line voltage. Still don't have line voltage. You have to hold it in rays. Now I think I've well and truly broken it now. Cause, see this gauge here that you can't see now that I'm standing up because the light's silly. There we go. I have no line voltage. So I think putting the pantograph down might have been a silly thing to do. Yep. No line voltage. Nothing. Nothing at all. Try the other pantograph. Uh, one of these was a pantograph thing. Some way there was a pantograph thing. I have battery voltage. And that would suggest I'm charging the battery, which is a bit weird. Let's go to pentagraph one.
Bremen exports a lot of cars, but Melbourne doesn't. Uh, the answer to that question, Ninja, is the headlights aren't very good. It's kind of normal for the old lighting system. The new lighting system's quite good, but the old TOD3 lighting system is not. Now let's try and put a pantograph up, now that we've changed pantographs. Main breaker? No, we have no line voltage at all. I have very clearly busted this train. Well, that's embarrassing. It's very embarrassing. Hmm. All right, we're just going to leave you here, train. Hope you don't mind. Sorry, you, you just have to sit out here in the rain. No one really cares about you. We'll leave your brakes on, though, so you don't roll away. And we will go to the main menu and leave it behind. And we'll go back into Bremen again, but this time we're going to play the scenario where you run around your 110. There's actually a couple of um, services where you run around the 110 as well. The 110 runs around the train because it hasn't got a cab car, but I haven't actually found one yet. So we'll run the scenario that does it. And that's okay. Good morning and welcome back to Hood. Today you'll be taking over the early shift of the Bremen Oldenburg passenger service. Very nice. We did have a FOMO co for cars, you're right. Melbourne used to export cars, but not anymore, that is also right. Well, actually we do. There's an electric car company that started making cars here. But there's um, not a lot of them as yet, and I don't think we're exporting at all. Sit in the driver's seat. I wonder if they fixed the stairs in the update. Quarry minds need to know. I think they did. Oh, look at that. They did. Excellent. You only get... No, wrong chair. Wrong chair. That one. Set the reverser handle. Well, yes. Set it to forward. Yes. Brake key to on. There's some other stuff I want to do. Should probably put a little brake on though. Ah, now where's all the other things we want to do? We want his head be. And see if it turned on. Brake motor. Uh, they're fine. Loading, loading. And instrument lights reduced is fine for daytime. Don't need a desk light on. And we shouldn't have to turn anything else on, should we? You can turn on the traction motor fans, but they're loud and annoying, so I don't. Alright, lock the doors. Prepare for excitement. We're short a locomotive, so once you reach Oldenburg, you'll need to uncouple and switch sides before taking... Of service to you know, I really wish sometimes they'd listen to real train people. You don't switch sides. You change ends. Buy some power. Not to... I didn't go over seven. That shouldn't have done that. But that's okay. I'll be more gentle... I will respect you. We do not have a cab car in JT. Not in this one. If we go and look up the back. No cab car. Whee! Which means you hope they lock the door so you don't fall out. And they did. Ah, Sifa. See if it does not sound outside the cab on this train. This is annoying. Actually, you know what I'm going to do? I'm actually going to run without Sifa. Because that way I can show you outside train shots and I can be interesting. But he just got away with that. You won't get your frame damage on a train from hitting a person nits. They're a bit stronger than people. Like if you put 
dent in the bloody panelling. Unless it's a modern train made of plastic and carbon fibre, then you might put a dent in it. Here's our little DBBR110. Safe to release, shall we? Shall? It's tapping up without watching as you do. Is this what I mean during the bright of day? I think it's still a little bit wrong. It's getting better. But when it's in the bright sun, things are too bright. And that's because, in my opinion, I don't know this, it is an opinion, I think the eye adaption thing in Unreal works the way a digital camera does. So it's emulating a digital camera, not the human eye. Because the human eye can actually process a scene that's got very bright areas and very dark areas better than a digital camera can. Is this a crossing that opens? How long's the line of traffic? Not very long. Seven Ks to Wisting, so we can watch. And I think this is another one of the ones that doesn't. Sooner or later, I will luck upon one that does actually work, because I've seen them work. But this one, clearly not. Get some more power on. It does take a little while to clean up a splatter. So you think Christmas trees like Germany knits? I'm looking around this train and I'm seeing a lot of birch. So we haven't managed an answer of what does uh, Bremen and Melbourne have in common. It does start with the letter C, Lexit it dark, I'll give you that. Hey, we don't have a cap car in the bank, we can do 140. no cab car on this one. But we don't have one, that's why I'm allowed to do 140. Because it's a cab car that's limited to 120. Cab car, just the roller door. And you can see what I mean about oh, I think this is too bright. It just doesn't look fantastic. It needs to be toned down about 15%, and it would look awesome. But I'm sure they'll get there. It says he accelerating wildly. Next hint. I was drinking some of it a little while ago. Came for a nice little store in Paran, run by a couple of very nice South, South American gentlemen. Who were once investigated, I'm supposed to stop here, shit. Who were once investigated for trying to import cocaine. But it turns out they weren't. 
Never worth. Straight through. Ah, no, straight through the signal as well. Now, the question is... Let's go and have a look. Is this recoverable? Can I go back far enough to get one carriage in the platform without taking the front of my loco past the signal? I think the answer is no, because it's such a short train. Hmm. Well, we're not stopping at Woosting anymore. Hmm. It is coffee lexic dark. Well done. So much better than my driving. Because I'm going to have to restart this one because you can't skip stations in Train Sim World 3. Hmm. Okay. This time pay attention. Maybe a little bit. Totally ignore all the directions and we'll just do what we want. Do whatever we want to do. Busy be on. So. Brakes off. Brake key on. No. That's not what I want to do at all. I wanted to use the brake key, but I can't use the brake key because it's already been used. Release. Now I can put the brake key on. Alright, doors open. Now, what's happening with these brakes? They're happy. Let's bring you back to the hold position. Good. Is the horn going to work? So I'm sad that this doesn't work because you... Oh, they fixed it in the update. Woohoo. Look at that. Before the update, if you shut the valve and use the horn, it still worked. That makes me happy. It's a stupid thing, but it makes me happy. And I haven't turned Cifra on this time. Alright. Away we go. Civic Cope would go on straight to five. Woohoo. Lucky. Safe to release. Okay, this time we'll actually stop. I prefer my coffee dark too as well. But the uh, the poor fellas from the coffee shop in Paran who brew their own coffee were importing cases and cases and cases of coffee beans. And in the same container as their coffee, someone else had brought in some cases and cases of coffee beans. There's had cocaine in the middle of it. But it wasn't actually theirs. You know, NJT, I think Dave, Dave Randall's getting up there on the leaderboard. I think he's putting your lead in danger. There's a lot of people watching behind time today. I've got 10 people watching concurrently. It's, it's peaked at about 14 a little while ago. And uh, there's 108 people watching behind the times. You can go live if you want to, folks. Down at the bottom of the screen, if you hover down there, there's a little live thing. And if you click on it, it will come to the current time. And speaking of live, on the advice of a uh, fellow player, I've actually moved the Simrail stream to next week. So since we now know Bremen makes coffee, 
how much coffee do they produce every day? And I think the answer you'll be able to find is in packs. Which is not a very good answer because it doesn't tell you how big a pack is. All those passengers experiencing deja vu, it's like, hey, weren't we here a few moments ago? What do you think, second person? We'll be here a few moments ago. Oh, that's right, you're, you're imaginary. You can't answer me. It's probably a little excessive for coffee. Your number's not far, far wrong. Ah, Dave Randall gets it. It's weird that they say it's packs, but they um, don't say how much pack is. How much grams or kilos or whatever. At least when you sneeze on stream, no one goes, Whoa, COVID! Yeah, it's really hard to tell with the streams in JTE, so I do it on the first one that comes in to me. And I almost didn't stop here again, did you notice that? Almost. Not quite. Almost. PIS looks right up there. It's good. Welcome to Worcesting. You got sidetracked, Lexic Dark. Did you find something? A rabbit hole? I've clearly been to Worcesting before because there's a poster populated. That'll do. The door's open. There they are. Too bright. It is the season to get together with your family and drink wildly, I agree. That's what it's for. Look vaguely like a 425 going the other way. And you know what? There's no one here, so I'm going to close the doors anyway. I'm going to close those doors, and I'm going to close the correct doors. Also known as the right doors, but that's just a different story. Wait until the time comes. That looks like I've got some doors open up there still. Oh no. I think there's a LOD issue on the doors. Let me try that again. I'm going to come up this end of the train and I'm going to open them. There is a LOD issue on the doors. Look at that. Because the ones down there haven't opened. And they do when you come closer to them. Yeah. I shall report that. 
That's not meant to happen. But that's okay. Off we go. To Oldenburg HBF Hochbahnhof. Keeping away your points, Lexic Duck. NJT asks, how's the new 425? I don't know, I haven't driven it. <laughs> Why don't we drive it after we finish this? Since we finished the other one a little bit early, I'll have a little bit of time. And since I killed the Simrail stream, that will help too. I think it is actually closing and opening the doors. I just think it's not drawing them. Yeah, it's a Volvo. Turn on PZB this time. Oh, yeah. Good night. Yeah, I did. They are, Dave Randall. That's what we saw on that freight run. We saw this thing come through with lights as bright as the sun. So this next one's slightly more amusing. What is Bremen's biggest export that goes to the entire world? And I'll give you a hint, it's not cars and it's not coffee. It's a really big industry in Bremen. Six ducks, ten have been reallocated to Dave Randall. goes to the entire world and you can order it directly or you could go to your local supplier pick it up. Enthusiasm on the brakes on that one. It's a little bit of a niche market, I guess. 
Does anybody else think there's more trees hitting you since the update than there were before? I kind of get that impression. No, not squashed corn. Hey, that's something we should do. We should come and look at this bridge. I think I left that acknowledgement just a little bit late and it's stopping me. Very much so. <sighs> that's okay. I'm gonna release my brakes. Go on, I'm going to release my brakes, aren't you? There we go. Hello, Michael Newberry. I hope that was a money-making call. No, it's not Mercedes. Although I suppose it could be. But no, that actually wasn't what I was thinking of. You came back just in time, Michael, to see me get whacked by PZB. I was outside the cab looking at the bridge, so I didn't acknowledge it. No, it's, it's probably no, it's probably a more common market. So if if uh, Mercedes is more niche, it's not a car. It's probably a more common market than that. I'll give you another clue. It's probably illegal in some countries. The kind that don't like to admit it. But they probably sell them anyway. As we crawl into Oldenburg. No, it's not beer. Not bread. Bread's hardly a niche product. Woolly Bits says Nexic Dark. No, not Woolly Bits. Not beer. Hello, Toby One Kenobi. We haven't seen you around for a while. Much more niche than any of those things. Probably more people own them than own Mercedes. No, Germany's not big on weed. Not like America where you can buy weed in the local milk bar. As we crawl into our station at Hold Oldenburg Hockbahnhof, Platform 8. They're usually made of an easy to clean plastic. Not alcohol. Alcohol certainly not niche. We're doing under 25, so we should be fine with this magnet that we're going to hit. We have hit the 500. Oh, it's 18 plus in some countries. Not all. Do you think Ock oh, Van Hoff then? Alright, let's uncouple and bring it around. Very good. So I assume we're going to have to get up. Yes. Yep. I could do it with the three, but you know, this is more fun. 
in reality, there'd probably be someone here who did this. Probably wouldn't. Dumbfounded NJT. Yeah, it tells me that signal's green. Oh no, it does have two little white lights, so I guess it is green. It's got a shunting signal on it. Now, I acknowledge that. Perhaps I was meant to ask the signaler or something. But it did have the little shunting signal on it. It is possible it stops you anyway. Signaling systems can be weird like that. I like the graffiti on that building. I'd love to know how they got up there to do it that high, but, you know, that's okay. Is that little signal down there green? Uh, it's not for me, I don't think. Because we're going into this dead end. Steam firing went quite well, David. But my arms are um, floppy. And I have to say the gut muscles are a bit uh, tighter than they were the day before. That was a lot of shoveling. I didn't have the most amazing coal in the world. Oh, really? You want me to move and be within one metre exactly? Good on you. Who did this scenario? Right. <coughs> Set the reverser to off. Yeah, we're going to go up the other end. Let's just leave you in hold. Leave you in running. Journey normally can't actually touch the brake key after you've done this. Remove the reverser handle. Get up. Go sit in the other end. Any trains coming? No. And because it won't remember PZB, I'll just turn it back on again. No, it did remember. Ooh. Someone thought about that. Isn't it nice when you get a, a pleasant surprise like that? But right then. I have to go down the other end and release the driver's brake, do you reckon? It's looking like it, isn't it? Uh, let's just see if it's going to release when I power. No, it's not. Alright. Let us go back to the other end and release the driver's brake. They clearly didn't think I would do that. There we go. Now I've got to get back up the other end before it rolls away. 
because it now has no brakes on at all. And guess what? Ah. Ah. This is going to be funny. Let me up. Let me up. Let me up. Oh, I can't get back in my cab. Oh, so close. Hang on. Do it here. Spam the E key. There we go. Right. Now we'll do it this way. Go up the other end. Fly the thing up here. Fly it more. Now we'll come up this end and release it. And hope it doesn't roll away again. Looks like it's going to just sit there this time. Alright, in the chair. Now let's release it. That was fun. Not. It was a very nice workout. And the question, Michael, is... What is Bremen's biggest export that goes to the entire world apart from coffee? And it's kind of a niche, kind of not. I think the PZB HUD might be a little bit wrong there. Not safe to release, speed limit 165. I'm tipping you probably have to stay in a monitoring. Yeah, oh, and that should be flashing 7085. That was working at the other end. I shall report that too. That's okay. Yeah, you could use Control Zero, David Park, but it's more fun my way. <laughs> this is more of a challenge. Is it the stuff from the Fun Factory? It depends what you mean by a Fun Factory. But it could well be. I do think Dave Randall might actually get the points on this one. We've just gone through a 500 hertz magnet. Are we going to go through a signal before we go through the R? So I think this time... Let's see if it stops me again. This will be interesting. Because it's definitely got the shunting aspect on, which is overriding the reds. So let's see what it does. Let's see if it stops. I think Dave Randall has, in fact, got the points. And it stops me again. It's not actually that unusual to have train protection like that. It's to catch the difference between when you're deliberately running a red and when you're uh, unintentionally running a red. That question was worth 50 points, by the way. When I stop, let me just quickly Google Fun Factory Bremen and see if that's what I was thinking of. I suspect it probably is. Dave's just saying it in a very PG-13 safe way. Ah, thank you, Brad. Apparently I have to press override on red signals with shunt signal on. something new every day. Let me just have a quick Google. And I'll see whether I give him 50 points or not. 
Yep. I give you 50 points, Dave Randall. Can I apply that this time? Let's just release you and see if you roll before I do anything else. You are going to roll. So put this brake on and see if this brake can be released from the other end or not. It doesn't work when the reverse handle's not in. Well, it doesn't work at all. <coughs> Stop it. Right. We're just going to have to do this really quickly, aren't we? <laughs> oh, I don't want to get the key. Or is it because that one's applied and I can't get the key out? You're in off, so I should be able to take the key out. Let's just try and get a different angle on the key. No. Maybe it's because you're applied or something. Let's try this. Let's get you back into forward, back to off. Now try and do it. Can't get on the key. Now let's try it. Now, back to hold. I know I'm going to run through a red signal if I'm not careful. Can I get the key now? Well, you've applied again, though. Well, this is bloody annoying. I don't really run around through that little red signal there. Let's try something else. We'll have to come back and take this off, of course, but... we we'll just sit here now with the handbrake on. So if I bring that back to the hold position, now can I get the key out? No. Hmm. I think I messed it up when I took the reverser out early and then put it back in. Get on it. Trying can't. Can't even do it when that's out of the way. Won't let me. Any suggestions? I'm sad now. Nitz, I've already said that that um, video is not happening. The Simrail one. Hmm. I'm sad now. Yeah, it is kind of, isn't it? You know what? Let's do it this way. We're just going to stay at this end of the camp.
looks like that. Got the little shunting dwarf. No, he doesn't have the little shunting dwarf. Now I do. Oh, it's over right I want to press. There we go. Through there. My dog speaks the truth, says, how do you override on a German trade, Brad MacArthur? You use... Uh, that one. <coughs> PZB override. It's normally the one with the ball on top, but there's one train where it's not. I think it's actually the cab car from this thing. It says we're just ignoring the HUD now. What's the point in even having it? The dwarfs come on there, which is good. I will still have the hard on. It is delete on the keyboard. There are also um, controls for it on the controller. Both Xbox and PlayStation have ways of doing your PZB keys. So if you have a look in settings, uh, where is it? Options. And control guide. This is the keyboard one because I don't have a controller plugged in. But if you had a controller plugged in, this would tell you all the right things to do for a controller. Well done, Michael Newbury, on the correct use of an apostrophe. You have to be careful because you'll confuse NJT in nits. That's it, Dave. Thank you. There's nothing stopping you plugging a um, keyboard into the PlayStation and Xbox. They do work. We're almost back with our train. Any signals between us and the train? No, it doesn't look like it. I'm not sure what the scenario will actually do. I think it'll sit there with set the driver's brake key to off for the rest of the scenario, but let's see if it lets us drive. YouTube's telling me my audio bitrate is currently lower than the recommended bitrate. But, uh, no, OBS tells me that's not true. YouTube's lying. <laughs> it's almost time to get here and here in a couple. Clanky noises, you notice that? Bonk. Don't think it's going to let me out of here, though. We shall see. Wonder if it'll let me do that now. No. Still cannot. Yeah, that'll be it then, because we can't get past the signal up there. Actually, let's just try something. What happens if we just start moving? Does the signaling system just cope with it? Oh, look at that. Now that it knows we're going in the right direction. Hmm. 
No, it didn't, David. I, I tried that. I think I messed it up because I took took the reverser out before it told me to. We only have a shunt signal here. We don't have a proper signal. So we shall override as we go past this. And let's just see what the game does. Continue our grand experiment. That worked. So what were our tasks after shut down the key? Pretty much done all this, and we're going to Woosting Hood, Book Holzberg, Shearbrook, Hoiken Camp, Delmenhorst, Hyde Krug and finally Bremen. So we're basically stopping everywhere. Oh, I did pull the brake key from the other side. Yes, you can only turn it. You can't actually take it out. Uh, my dog speaks truth. It's a little bit mixed. Mostly it's good. It Mostly it plays pretty well. I like it. Um, and yeah, I know I'm an ambassador, but I am free to say whatever I want. Um, so I find it enjoyable and fun. There are some things that I would like to improve, like the daylight lighting, for example. Like right now, see, this looks good. But if I... Is that a 425? Could be. Proceed at restricted speed. He was waiting for me to come out, I think. But if I go up here, where it's brighter, actually, I think it's probably cloudy enough today that it's the lighting's going to be fine. But well, you can see it a little bit. The lighting's a little bit bright in places. But in, in the height of the day, it can be excessively bright. Now this is going to be fun because I'm going to have to guess where the, uh, just turn that off, I'm going to have to guess where the stations are now. This could be interesting. And we'll see if the, uh, see if the simulation copes with what we're doing. So I guess the answer to your question, the short answer is yes, there could be some improvements. Yes, you have seen it before, Alexic Dark. It's because I don't do it untold. I do things in the wrong order and it, order and it confuses the scenario of scripting. And sometimes the scripts are written so that they check things. Look, it's time for mandatory cow interview. Good morning, how are you? Okay, thanks. Bye. I think there's a few big things that could be improved on. I would love to see Scenario Planner be a lot more free so that you can take trains anywhere. I would like to see invisible walls go away. So I understand what the invisible walls are for. They're there to stop you getting out of the well scenic area, but I think everybody understands and is mature enough to know that if you get away from the train line, you're going to get out of a well scenic area. So why stop us? Why does it matter? I know you can fall off the world, but if you do that, it's your own fault. So I'd love to see invisible walls go away. I would love to see a map with actual place names. No place names. No stations marked on it. Now, I know that we do have... I think we're getting near a station now. Power off a little bit. But we do have this map. So this one actually does have your place names on it. But it doesn't show where you are. 
So why can't we have that on the other map? And it's it's kind of funny because when I've asked internally about this, why can't we have it? And they go, oh, but it's really hard to do. I was like, but you've done it. It's just not that hard. But that's okay. I'd like to see more world part of because um, the, the name of this game is Train Sim World and I don't want to seem like I'm whinging I'm just going through some of the things that I think could be improved it is a very playable game let's just be really clear about that excuse <laughs> me that, that's Matt reaching out going on. a bit of force joke going on but uh I'd like to see more world in the train sim world. And I mean by that two things. The first one is more things where you get to go for a wander and you go and hunt things down in the world. More puzzles and things like that would be good. Because sometimes you want to drive trains and you can do that and sometimes you want to do other things and it would be cool if you could do that. And they, they turn up occasionally. Um, Rivet are actually relatively good about putting things like that into their routes. So there's long places you can go and walk to. I'd like to see more of that. And the other thing I mean about the world part is more countries. Now I know there's some good news on the horizon for that because we've got Union Workshop have come in as a third party developer. It's really difficult to know where this station is. But we've got Union Workshop come on as a developer, Union Workshop to um, Japanese and Chinese trains. So we'll see what that brings, because I can't imagine them departing from their usual stuff, so I imagine we'll get a Japanese or a Chinese train in the not too distant future. I'd love to see a bit more care taken with scenery placement versus track. They're done by separate teams at the moment and there's not a um, there's not a high priority put on checking for overlaps. How come I've got electric brake and no air brakes? Do I have to use this one? I think we might have found part of the problem. It thinks the brakes are on at the other end, doesn't it? Are we going to have a person? I've got the maximum independent brake and electric brakes on that I can. And... Do you know, it doesn't actually matter if we don't stop. But that might give me a clue. Michael has found a hole in the world. Excellent. That's interesting. No air brakes. So does it think the brake key in this one's not on? So it thinks the brake's not engaged in this cab. Isn't that interesting? Well, I'm just going to have to brake a whole lot earlier because I've only got electric braking and no air. Hmm. Let's just go look. Maybe I did do something dumb, David Park. No, I can't access it on this one either. Let's try another experiment. This is the kind of thing when I'm doing beta stuff. I just do dumb things and try and break it, but this time I've broken it without trying. So if I put you into off, take you out, I hope the train doesn't roll away, because that would be boring. Come up here, jump in the chair. Put you in reverse. Can I use the air brakes in this cab now?
Apparently I can use the windscreen wipers as well. Well, it's definitely got the air brakes on in this cab. Because they're very much on, but you can't release them. No. Yeah. All good. I'll get that up. I was kind of hoping I could close the door and jump out, but it just didn't work out that way. Moo says the cow. Good comment. And the brakes are on in this cab now, too. Ah. Does that mean I've now got air brakes? <laughs> no. Yeah, I really busted it. See, you ask if it could do improvements. Hmm. Oh, well. Let's run something else, says he. Since I'm not running the 11 o'clock stream. You know what I want to do? I want to go look at the bridge. Uh, my Dog Speaks Truth asks, will we ever see multiplayer? How would it work? Uh, the answer to how would multiplayer work, I suggest you go and look at the other game. <laughs> the one that just came out for a player test called SimRail because it does multiplayer and you can be a signaler or you can be a driver. Um, the other one that works quite well is Run 8. Works pretty well. I got told by Joe that if you go to Bremen? Or is it Oldenburg? Wow, which end's the bridge at? The bridge is at Oldenburg, isn't it? It's not at Bremen. I think I should have gone to the other end. Um, they both support multiplayer mode. This isn't the end with the bridge, is it? The bridge is at the other one. Why is it like I'm crouching? I was crouching. Is the bridge at Bremen or at Oldenburg? I think it's at Oldenburg, isn't it? So I've come to the wrong end. I'll go to the other end. Main menu. Inject competence now. <sighs> to the trains. Resume last played. Oh, that was the last thing I saved. It's not what I last played at all. Timetable. On foot. This time, let's go to Oldenburg. Yeah, this is the right end. Oldenburg. And I'll go there at 9.35. Oops. And then I've got to run to the bridge. And the answer, the, rather than just stay, have a look at these other games, the way I think multiplayer could work quite well in this game is that you have a manually controlled dispatcher. Now, which way is the bridge, do you reckon? Mm. Didn't think that through too well. We'll just have to hope it's this way, won't we? Anybody know? This way or the other way? But to, to keep going on the answer to the question, there's one of those areas where you see where it's just way too bright and I get distracted easily. The way multiplayer could work is you have a manual dispatcher and you have someone sitting in the dispatcher's role and they play that for however many hours they want to and they're controlling the routes. So you'd still have some automatic signals but they would be controlling the yards. You could potentially have a player for every yard if you could get enough players in. I'm beginning to think the bridge might be the other way. Oh no, there's the signal box. This is right. This is right. It'll do. Little 363 chugging away to itself down there. So it looks a bit big for 363. Maybe it's not. Maybe it's that other shunter. 
I think I see the bridge in the distance. Because apparently if you come here at this time, you'll see the bridge open. That's what I want to go and do. And the dispatcher would be controlling either yards or the whole route. And the players are driving the trains. And I would think before you allowed someone to be a dispatcher, you'd make them earn some credibility by driving some trains in a reasonable manner. In theory, at some time about now, a barge comes. Let's see one over there. But Joe said come here at 9.35. So I have. Hmm. Invisible wall. Try and stand up this end and watch it. This is a bascule bridge. And that is the water tower for the bascule bridge that provides the uh, energy to actually move the bridge. Still don't see anything coming. Wonder how long you have to wait. Nine forty, it goes up. Okay, so we probably have got a little while then. We can wander around. Can we go over here? We can go over here. Ha! Collectible. The donkeys. No. Wait, stop you. Sometimes you just get silly. But it's good to get silly. Where else can we go? Can we go down here? No? Couldn't have too much longer to wait before it goes up. We're definitely waiting, Dave. Why don't I ask some trivia questions while we wait? We shall see. I had someone tell me in the comments that um, this bridge actually doesn't have overhead on it but I went and looked on googly maps and it definitely does so I think that person is thinking of the road bridge which is just a little way down the river because he was trying to tell me the trains coast through this thing because it doesn't have any overhead but uh, you can quite clearly see that the bridge does have overhead the Bremen Town Musician statue collectible yes it's also a pile of donkeys because there's always donkeys on these things somewhere Oh, there it goes. What happens if I go and stand on it while it goes up? Can you fall off the end? Oh, I reckon you could. I don't think it would stop me. I like the way the wires just end in midair. That's kind of funny. Well, it's not really the wires, is it? And there's a red signal down there. That's good. Where's the ship? Ooh. You go up with it. That's the answer.
This is kind of fun. Still don't see a ship though. Hmm. That's pretty funny. Those things clear. Now why let you fall off this bit? Oh, here it comes. That side. Can't get to that side anymore. Here comes a little ship. I wonder if they thought about someone standing on it, because that felt very much like it's just a standard Unreal Engine, hey, you fell off thing. Let's go for another trivia question while we're waiting for the ship. Why not? Before we go find a train. What are the three main colours on the Oldenburg coat of arms? Here comes Tugger the tugboat. There's another one. I would like Japanese trains as well, because, you know, the Bing Bong trains are good. But naturally enough, well done NJT, 10 points here. Naturally enough, I would also like to see Australian trains in the game. NJT beat you to it that time. Now I'm curious, how does it clear this stuff? Oh, it does. I reckon the landing would be a little louder than that. I'm waiting for it to do the railway lines now. The overhead. I don't think it actually took the overhead out of the way before, so I'm surprised it's done it now. I think it's confused. No, it's not a neutral zone, because they normally um, connect up again. But it didn't take them out of the way before. You can walk across again now. There's a little hole in the planet. Let's go find ourselves a 425 service, since someone asked about that. Let's have a look, because I haven't touched it. The trains. Choose a route. Or a man. Timetable BR425DB Bremen Oldenburg ah, Bremington Nordenham, okay. Yeah, it does look like a bug. So saw another bug too when it was starting up then. Why have I got those things? Ah, that's better. Unlock the doors. Let's go look outside. 
probably need to put the reverser in and things, don't I? There's a key for this one. No, it's uncoupling. I don't want to do uncoupling. That one. Is that the one I want? That is the one I want. But I can't put anything in there. Is that because I was dumb and put my key in there? I can't put my key in there. I can't put my key in. I can't open the doors. Hmm. That's a good start. It's got USB ports. For the phone that you're not allowed to have in the train cab. You can't put in my key. Ah. So the reverser works with no key in it. Okay. That's fine with me. Yeah. Window heating, headlights, high beam. Yes, let's cook everybody. Good plan. Passenger lights. And where do I turn PZB on, though? Back wall, maybe? In the panel? There's always somewhere to turn PZB on. Wipers? Phone? Can't open that one. Can you open this one? No? Hello, people. Don't be concerned. Just looking for my switches. Dilmenhorst. This must be going down one of the branches. The PZB switches in the other end, maybe. Have a look. I actually don't think I've ever driven this, to be honest with you. No. Yeah, back we go. Better lock the door. Some passenger might go in there and do something dumb. I reckon it'd be you. Anybody who wears a green hat is going to do dumb things. I have noticed there's less baseball caps now, which is good, because at one point absolutely everybody had one on. Now it's only about half the people. Alright. Up this door too. Ooh, works. still love to be able to turn on PZB, but I just don't see where to do it. Oh! You know, I really shouldn't do this while I'm uh, driving, should I? You know, there's a whole lot of switches up there, but you can't do anything with any of them. What about over here? LZB, battery. PZB. CIFA. Why have I got that on? Well, at least it didn't stop me. Safe to release. This is going off one, down one of the other branch lines, isn't it? What route would I like to see in Australia? It's actually a little bit of a difficult question, to be honest with you. While I would love to see some... Um, Melbourne commuter and there's a couple of lines that have a bit of freight and commuter trains so I think they'd be suitable. What I'd really like to see is the uh, main east-west lines which actually involves Sydney heading out into the mountains. My fellow Melbourneites are going bastard. But we could have both. But there's greater opportunity, and yes, I did unlock the doors then. These aren't the doors you're looking for. There's greater opportunity, I think, for 
freight and uh, commuter together if we do Sydney. Dave said there's a solo ICA1 power car move on this route, which is fun. Very cool. Why didn't I look, see that panel before? I looked over there. Just didn't even think to look over there. That's a bit daggy. That's okay. So where are we actually going on the map anyway? We're going out there. Oh, that's the normal route. Okay. Haha, <laughs> DTG Logistics, of course. That's obviously where they make the imaginary digital discs for uh, Train Sim World. Alright, so while we're cruising, let's do a few more questions for today. So, Bahnstrecker means railroad or railway, but is it male or female? Do you want to guess the other 50% of the community? Well done, Brad. Actually, I think you were in the last time, weren't you? So you probably know the answers to these questions. I'll add up to 120 now. So, what time period is this route set in? Cruise along in the 425. But it's safer that you can't hear outside. The chair with this bridge shot. Just made it. 2009. I'll go with that. I would have accepted anything in the 2000s. Yeah, let's go with that. I know they repeat questions, Lexic Dark. Most of these people weren't in that stream. And while I'd love to think they all went back and watched it, I don't know. I'd be a little bit surprised. Maybe they did. Surprising number of people do. Looking at the stats, quite a lot of people actually watch the whole stream and sit there and watch the whole hours and hours of it. And then my dog speaks the truth. You asked before what could be improved with TSW3. Interaction with scenarios. Make sure the scripting always copes when the players don't do exactly what they want. Pretty sure I'm going to open the window there. Let's get some noise in here, because it's such a quiet train. Are we allowed to do 160 yet? Surely we are. Let's just do it, see what happens. Oh, thing. This would be the only train that's allowed to uh, go 160 on this route. Oh, I suppose the ICEs, wouldn't they? set right for the rail driver there's the uh, 
space between minimum brake and minimum power is um, very small. So I have to use the keyboard. I shall add that to my list of reporting things. Alright, here's a question from something I said on that stream. And I think I said it in the tutorial video as well. What does the BR110 remind me of? None for you. Perhaps I wasn't allowed to do 160 here. Since I just got told I'm driving significantly over the speed limit, so I'm guessing maybe it's 140. Let's come back down to 140. There you go, Dave Randall. Does remind me of a Volkswagen Combi Splitty. It's actually about from the same time frame too. Start slowing down for Dillenhorst. I think I put the brakes on so hard the air brakes came on and the uh, electric brakes came off. It's interesting. Combis do sell for a fortune now. My father-in-law had one that he um, hardly ever drove. It's a Volkswagen camper and it wasn't even a good camper. It wasn't even in amazing condition. And he just sold it for about four times what they cost new. That'll do, let's stop here. Someone answered this question earlier, I think, unintending to. What's the uh, name of the biggest beer that's brewed in Bremen commercially? That would make sense that uh, Uberstrom is masculine lexic dark. Because everyone knows girls don't fart. Therefore, they don't eat all the beans. Uh, the only thing I didn't like about the father-in-law's combi was at the top speed. 85 kilometres an hour is just dangerous when you're on a freeway. Bex it is. Another point to Dave Randall. That would suggest that I have driven a 425 before, but I don't remember it. It could have been on a different route, I suppose. Because this train's not actually new to the game, is it? Ah, now we're allowed to do 160. Let's do it. On our way to... Hmm. He did. 
Yeah, Slexic Dark points out Dave got the answer in before I finished asking. Yes, he did. Because it was probably him that answered it before. Yeah, there could be, Brad. We could have a look. I have all the German stuff loaded at the moment because all the German stuff layers into this route. I'm actually getting sunny again. That's the good thing. I have uh, a couple people coming here later to do a photo shoot today. And they want to do it outside, so uh, it's a good thing it's getting sunny. Nothing to do with what I'm drinking too. It's plenty of water. And it's really interesting that the camera makes this bottle grey because it's actually blue. Clearly something wrong with the colour today. you like to be able to jump out of the train and go and explore a little town like this and go and visit some shops and stuff that'd be just cool six point six k's to hood Look at that, they agree. The train is showing the right time. So this has got a far plan, but has it got a near plan? It doesn't have any cues. Yeah, some guy died falling off the top of a New York subway train the other day. Idiot train surfer. BK's the hood. Who done it? Think so. I quite clearly did not make it, and it won't let me release it until I stop. All right, then. off we go under monitoring. Yes, it's true. Not much of an antidote for kinetic energy poisoning at all. Especially when you fall off the top of a subway train that's travelling on an elevated track. It's not only do you get the uh, kinetic energy from the horizontal movement that you were doing on top of the train, 
he followed it up by adding a bit more kinetic energy from the uh, falling part. Dick around this speed for now. I actually thought they'd fixed the um, 7085 flashing in the update, but it looks like it didn't happen for the 425, only for the 110. As we wind our way into Hood. Rain surfing is never a clever activity. It really does help make the shallow end of the gene pool a little bit deeper though. Nearly there. It wants you to that get this close to a red signal. It wants you to get really close to the red signal, doesn't it? Right at the end of the platform. So how is that good customer service to stop there? Oh, I suppose the entry exit is there. There's another one up there. That would have been safer. Oi. Oh yeah, you get kicked out here, don't you? There we go. Now I have been booted out. Have I achieved any mastery yet? There's a question. Let's have a look. And then we might finish it up for today anyway. Live. Mastery. I should have got level 1 by now, surely. Yep, I've got level 1 on Bremen Oldenburg, which required me to go fast and be purpose-driven. Well, that was pretty easy. Tier 2. So I have to complete five scenarios or timetables. Done more than that. Duh. And what a long trainer trip. Drive 80 miles. Surely I've done more than that. Anyway, that's okay. Do you know, when I first looked at that, I thought it was a sea mine, but no, I'm tipping it's a statue and a... Yep. A monument. Alrighty. Well, this has been Bremen Oldenburg. And there's a community challenge on that people appear to have driven half of it. Oh, that's alright. Well, a third of it, actually. The festive season is here. If you contribute to the challenge is completed before January 5th, you will earn the snowman and Christmas tree decal packs. Ooh. Better could all get out there and get driving for that. Christmas tree and decal packs. Fantastic. But anyway, it's been a fun stream, folks. Thank you very much for watching and joining in. I think um, Dave Randall's probably going to be a bit of a challenger for NJTE on the leaderboard to finish out the year. So I'll reset the leaderboard at the end of the year. Actually, I might put a poll up. Should I reset it or just keep it as it is? I'll put a poll up and we'll see what the community thinks. So, um, yeah, good fun. And thanks for your support, Brad MacArthur. Brad's one of the members of the channel. If you, if you want to uh, join and support things, that would be cool. And we'll uh, see how it goes. So I'll add up the leaderboard. I'll pop up the post into the community shortly. Um, I did get advice to move the SimRail stream if you're wondering why that didn't happen 
to because the Simrail game itself doesn't have any hand holding so the person suggested it'd be a good idea to familiarize yourself with the trains because there's lots of people getting stuck so I thought that would be a good idea too rather than show off the game in a in a bad way I'll show it off in a good way because it deserves every chance it can get it's a new simulator it's good to have a new organization in the market yes I know I'm a dovetail ambassador but getting more stuff into the market will um, maybe encourage dovetail into some of their bigger plans and do more things that bring out more stuff not that they haven't brought out a lot of stuff now I think there's something like 60 odd DLCs for it now it's actually not bad it's nothing compared to the 1500 for train sim classic but that's okay. Anyway, enjoy yourselves. Have a lovely weekend for what's left of it. And have fun. See you later. Bye. Thanks for watching, folks. I hope you enjoyed it. I always like to get your feedback in the form of likes and comments because they help me understand what you want. Give the channel a subscribe and click on the tinkly things so you don't miss out on any new stuff. And thanks for your ongoing support. And please, be safe out there.